Navy films show units of Admiral William F. Halsey's third fleet battling the heavy seas of a typhoon. The storm hits the fleet while it's withdrawing from a carrier strike against the Japanese home island of Kyushu. Mountainous waves whipped up by gales that reached an intensity of 138 statute miles an hour damaged battleships, cruisers, aircraft, carriers, and destroyers. Seaplanes on the stern of the USS Massachusetts are wrecked on their launchers. The USS Indiana, one of the battleships hit by the storm, fights the heavy seas. The majority of the ships damaged were quickly repaired and put back in action. This is the second time in less than six months that the third fleet has been damaged by a typhoon. The first storm striking 18th December in the Philippines. Five aircraft carriers, including the Hornet, Bennington, and San Jacinto, are damaged. Planes on the deck of one of the carriers are tossed about like matchsticks by the heavy winds and by waves which reach a height of more than 100 feet. Although damage to planes and ships was extensive, only one life was lost in the storm. Hardest hit of all the ships is the cruiser USS Pittsburgh. Over 100 feet of her bow was ripped off by the high winds, but the watertight compartmentation kept the ship afloat. Sixty of the crew had living quarters in the bow section, but all were rescued when the deck plates buckled and the bow ripped off. Seaplanes on the stern deck are badly damaged. One remains on its catapult launcher while others are knocked over and wrecked on the deck. The aircraft carrier USS Bennington suffers damage to the bow of her flight deck, although the greater part of the deck is undamaged and continues to be used by her planes. The steel girders supporting the deck are bent and twisted and the wrecked section hangs over the bow. The crew of the carrier Hornet repairs damage. Planes were caught and wrecked on the flight deck when the wind renewed itself with sudden fury after it was thought to have calmed down. The primary typhoon was replaced by a secondary, more violent typhoon, and it was this second storm which battered the third fleet. The Pittsburgh, minus its bow, which was later picked up by a Navy tug, travels 900 miles to repair yards at Guam. The cruiser is put into a floating dry dock and temporarily repaired while a new permanent prefabricated bow is being built in the Bremerton Navy Yard. A temporary stub bow is put on the Pittsburgh and the cruiser heads for Puget Sound.